If you want to build an online store using Shopify but don't know where to start, then this video was made for you. I'll show you exactly how to open and build your first online store using Shopify. I've been using Shopify for eight years now, and in the next 12 minutes, I'll cover everything you need to do step by step. This tutorial is completely free, and yeah, just follow along, and by the end of the video, you'll have a professional store set up with the ability to start selling products right away. All the links and resources we talk about in this video will be down below in the description. Step number one is to sign up for for Shopify. So if you go to the description down below, click on that special link, it'll take you to this page where you can get the best deal on Shopify and save a ton of money. Essentially, you'll get three days for free and then pay just $1 for the first month. So all you have to do is enter your email address right here and then click start free trial. And now we're in our Shopify dashboard. Now, the first thing I want to do is click on online store right here. And now we're going to select our theme for our store. You can see the current theme is called Dawn. This is a very popular one. But if you want to check out their other themes, Shopify has a ton of great professional free themes that you guys can choose from. So you can scroll down here, click visit theme store. And now we can check out all the different themes that Shopify has. Some of them will cost money, but there are tons that are free. But feel free to look through these, see which one matches the style of the store you want to create and feel free to pick that. So for example, if I want to take a look at taste, this is a free theme that we can check out. We can easily view the demo store right here, see what it looks like, look at the different elements for this theme. And if you want to try it, we can click try theme. Now for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the default theme. This is a very popular popular and good one. So what we'll do is come back here, click customize, and this is going to take us into the Shopify store editor. I'll show you guys exactly how to use this. It's very, very simple and intuitive, but essentially this is the breakdown of the current page you are on. So we are on the home page. We can have an announcement bar, the header right here. This is going to be the bulk of the page here, different sections. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the logo. What we'll do is click on header here. We'll click on edit your logo in theme settings here. And now we'll select our image. For this one, I'll upload an image. Click done. And that's going to show up in this place right here. Next, we'll change the image banner. So what we're going to do is click on this. Essentially, anytime you want to change something, all you need to do is click on it. And then it's going to give you the option to change it. So we'll click select image here. And that's going to populate this hero image here. As you guys can see for this brand, we already have some text on the hero image. So what we're going to do is delete this text right here. This is going to be a button that we can change as well. So currently it says shop all. You can select where this actually goes to. So it's going to go to all products, which makes sense. But if you don't have your own hero image yet, we can always explore free images. And yeah, Shopify gives you a ton of free stock photos that you guys can use. So if we scroll down here, you can see there's currently a featured collection underneath the hero image. That's going to be right here. And if you want to add a section, all you need to do is come here and click add section. For example, let's do an image with text. That's going to add it right here. And at any point, we can come here and drag this and change the order. And if you want to change the image here, we'll click on this, click select image, or of course, click explore free images. I'm going to add in a product image. We can edit this text here easily, play with the text right here. And a really cool feature with Shopify is if you don't know what to put for the text, you can always come here, click generate text, describe what your text is about. We'll select the tone as well. So let's go with expert, click generate. But you guys get the point. Let's go with this one. Now, if you come here to theme settings, I also encourage you guys to play around with the colors. So choose from the different schemes that are included or add your own. Play with the typography so you can select your font, the scale of the font. You can also play with the layout design as well. One thing I do want to mention is you want to make sure that your site is mobile optimized. So what you should do is come up here, click on mobile. This is what your site is going to look like on a phone. So as you can see, this hero image does not work for the mobile view. So what we can do is actually change this. We'll click change, explore free images. Let's go to woman's fashion and we'll just select this image right here. You can play around with the banner height so you can choose from these different options. If you don't change too many things on the desktop view, the mobile view should look pretty good. And one reminder, you want to click save after all these edits. And now I'm going to show you guys how to add products to your store. If we click on exit, this is going to take us back to our dashboard. And what we're going to do is go to products on the top left and we can click add product. Later on in this video, I'll show you how to use Zendrop for all your product fulfillment. But for now, let's click add product. Here you're going to enter in the title of your product. We'll enter the description right here. And again, if you want to use AI to generate your text, we can click on this image here, enter in some features and keywords and click generate. 
Let's go ahead and use that. Click keep. And now we're going to upload our images, which is called media. So we'll click upload new. We'll select our images. You can change the order. So I'm basically going to have this image be the main one, which is the largest size. Here you'll select your price. If you want Shopify to calculate your profit margins, you can enter in the cost per item as well. I encourage you to track quantity. So we'll select 50. We'll put in the weight. So let's say one pound. Here you can add different variants for your jacket or product. So this can be things like color. Also sizing is probably going to be one if you were selling clothes. And once we're done with that, we'll click save. Now coming to collections, I'll show you how to create a featured collection. So what we're going to do is come here to create collection. Let's call it top picks. For collection type, we will click manual so that we can choose which products to put. We'll select an image as well. We'll click save. And now we will select our products for this collection. So we'll click browse. We'll select the two different products that I already populated the store with. And now we can see what this looks like. If we come back to our online store editor, we'll click customize. Let's add this new collection to our homepage. So let's click add section, click on featured collection, and we'll select our collection here. We'll click top picks, click select, and let's make this two since we only have two photos. And now what we're going to do is move this up right underneath our hero image. And that is basically how you create a collection. Now, something I really want to show you guys is this new media AI editor. So if we click on this image, this is for a different store. And if we come here to enhance background and click on that. So what we can easily do is replace the background or remove it and click on this. It's going to make it a transparent image and we can easily replace the background. We'll describe the subject and we'll describe the background that we want. Be sure to be descriptive here. And what we're gonna do is click generate. You can also use these suggestions that Shopify gives you. And it's going to generate these images. So what we can do is look through them. These are actually pretty cool. And yeah, that's one of Shopify's new AI tools. Now, if you're not selling your own products and you wanna do drop shipping, I'll have a link down below to Zendrop, which is my favorite drop shipping fulfillment platform. This is what I recommend every new drop shipper to use because it's the most reliable drop shipping fulfillment tool on the market. Other companies use middlemen, but Zendrop actually has their own warehouse and they source directly from manufacturers. So yeah, you'll get the fastest and most reliable shipping times. And they have tons and tons of US suppliers for two to five days shipping. But yeah, with my link, you guys get a seven day free trial you get half off for the first three months and two hundred dollars in order credits which guys is just absolutely amazing and the most helpful thing is zendrop academy which comes included where they will have weekly coaching calls or you can join their weekly office hours to get your stores audited learn new ad strategies or learn what products to actually sell and it's directly from a coach that's done millions of dollars in sales himself. All you have to do is fill out your information right here to start your seven day free trial. And I'll show you guys what it actually looks like. So once you sign up for Zendrop using that link, you'll be able to look through the different products that they have on their catalog. For example, let's say we want to sell this mini air humidifier. What I'm gonna do is click add to my products come here to my products. We will click review and publish. So all this stuff is already pre-populated. You don't really need to do much. And we'll click publish to my store. We'll click confirm and bam. Now this product is available on our store. And once we actually make our store live, people will be able to buy this product from us. With their plus plan, you can also see their trending products. And of course the best part, which I think is Zendrop Academy. They have data that shows that if you become a plus plan member, you have a four times higher chance of generating your first sale. And that's just because of all the resources that Zendrop gives you. All right. So now I'm going to go back to my online store. Let's create a new page. We'll click add page up here. Let's call this about us. This is actually one of the most popular pages that everyone looks at. So I really encourage you guys to create an about us page. Let's generate some text here. We'll click save. And now let's go to navigation. What we're going to do is come here to main menu. We're going to add this about us page to this menu. So we'll type about us, find that page that we just created and click add. And then we'll click save menu. We can also do the same thing with the footer. So what we're going to do is come here to footer menu. So you're going to add that here. But before we do that, we're going to go to settings, go to policies, and then we're going to basically create all these policies. And the great thing is that Shopify has templates for us. So we'll click insert template, read through it to make sure everything looks okay. We'll click on publish and we'll just go ahead and do that for all of these. We'll click add menu item, go to policies, click on privacy policy, click add and do the same for the other policies. We'll click save menu. And now if we actually go to our store, you'll see these new links down below in the footer. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is click exit and we're going to activate Shopify payments. So this is gonna allow us to actually make sales, collect money and be able to fulfill products. So we'll go to settings down here and we'll click on payments. Essentially what you're gonna do is click complete account setup here. I just recommend using the Shopify payment 
statements. It's built in and it works well and just the easiest one to do. So you're basically going to have to submit a bunch of different details. So I encourage you guys to go ahead and do that. I encourage you to look through all of these different settings. For example, you can customize the checkout experience for your customer. I'm gonna show you guys how to change the shipping stuff. So we'll click on shipping and delivery. You can have your general shipping rates as well as custom shipping rates. We can add different package sizing. And the great thing is that with your paid Shopify plan, it comes with discounted shipping labels. You'll also wanna fill out the tax information. So yes, if you are selling physical products, you will likely need to collect taxes and that's all done within the taxes and duty section. Now let's get to the fun part, which is actually choosing your domain. So what we're gonna do is come here to domains. And as you can see, you don't want your website URL to look like this. You can customize your My Shopify domain, but ultimately we want to get a custom domain. So what we're gonna do is either buy a new domain or connect existing domain if you have one already. Let's click on buy new domain. Let's search for something. Great, so this is available. We'll go with the .com domain and we'll click buy domain. We'll now enter in our contact information and then click buy domain. So finally, what we're gonna do is pick a plan so that we can actually actually have our store published and available for people to go to. So what we're gonna do is pick a plan. As you can see, we still have three days remaining in my trial, but since we're done setting up the website, we'll click choose plan. For most of you, I think the basic plan will be good enough. Once you start generating sales, you can at any time upgrade to a more advanced plan. But for now, we'll just go with the basic plan and click select basic. You can choose to pay either monthly or yearly. For now, I'll just choose monthly. I already have my payment information entered in here and we'll click subscribe. So since we use that link in the description down below, I'm able to get the first month for just $1 and then it's that standard rate after that. After we pick a plan, now we are able to remove our store password. So we'll click remove password here. And now our online store is open to everyone. So there you have it, a full tutorial and guide on how to build your Shopify store. If you've been thinking about starting your own e-commerce business, then I really encourage you to get started today. Again, we'll have a link down below to the best deal you can get for Shopify, as well as an exclusive deal for Zendra. Happy online store building. And I hope you got a ton of value from this video. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. On this channel, I do a ton of videos about entrepreneurship, personal finance, and investing. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.